So with this, we have in store one more EdTech presentation by Sportster. So I would like to call on stage Mr. Puneet Mehra, the CEO of Sportster. An early entrepreneur uh, opportunity gave him a hands-on knowledge with startups and intrinsic understanding of various business models. Uh, he has had the privilege to work, learn and lead through his experience at Sports Village. Cool Sports, Internet, Wipro, and Epicenter. Designing and winning strategy and uh, overseeing the execution and implementation of mandates has been one of his top priorities. And here you have Mr. Puneet Mehra. Good afternoon. Um, I know everyone is hungry and hungry for food, so I promise I will not take a lot of time. Uh, it's a very short presentation. Uh, it's about sports. I'm not a good orator, so please bear with me. Um, Got it. Great. So, uh, Quick background, we're a sports education company, and uh, what you basically are trying to do is inculcate an age, skill, uh, progressive curriculum, exactly what you do in you know, your academics, so you brought it down into sport. Uh, what we're actually trying to get is that there's a structure around sports like there is a, around academics, and that's our endeavor. We've got two arms, one's a, a profit-making organization known as Sportsa and a foundation primarily needed to sort of fund children who are really great at their uh, skill but are not able to do it because of uh, monetary issues. So those are two arms we have in, in, in the company. I don't think it's working. Okay, great. So what, you, what basically this chart is that we're trying to achieve four things, largely in the sports education uh, arena. One, trying to make sure that we're giving sports education which is standard across the country. This one, right? Yeah. And this is? Okay, let's try it. Will it. And the idea of doing this uh, in, in schools is to make sure that if a child really wants to pursue sports, he gets an opportunity to do so, but if he's not able to do that, at least he's fit for life. So the idea around this is that if I have, let's say, a chain of schools, five schools which I'm working for, and each school has my program, if a child is going through the sports curriculum which Sportster uh, has in all these five schools, if he changes from one school to the other, he doesn't miss out on any of the skill progressive curriculums which we have. So that's the idea we have over here. Uh, we do this in three different ways. One is an in-school program, where we try and see that a child develops his interest in sport. Then we have academies which are post-school hours, and then high-performance learning centers, where a child, if he wants to pursue his career in sports, that is able to do so. So what do we get in the in-school program? We get four things. We give you the coach, we give you the curriculum, we give you the equipment which is mapped to the curriculum, and we give you assessments as report cards for every child. And I do this for 12 different sports, in the, in, in, uh, 12 different disciplines which we have, cricket, football, basketball, tennis. And the reason I say that we do this for 12 sports is because I have curriculums only for these 12 sports at this point of time. So if somebody tells me that they want to do archery in the school, I can deliver the program, but I don't have a curriculum for it. So basically that means I don't have an assessment for it, right? And then we have a very special program known as Go Kids, which is for kids between 1.8 to 7 years. And this program is very different primarily because in these formative years, a child has to be developed only on three, three aspects. One, uh, one is locomotor skills, one is balance, and the other is hand-eye coordination. So we don't teach them a sport as such. Because we are ready with these three skills, then they're able to then get into any sport they like. We have fitness religion, which is basically athletics, because if you can't run, jump, and throw, you can't play any sport. And then we have specific sports, which are cricket, football, basketball, in the go sports category. And then finally, pro team training, which is basically every school wants their teams to go out and compete. 
So we do that as well. Uh, like I said, I have 12 sports. These are the sports as a glimpse where I have a curriculum and I have assessments around it. So what do we do? We get a coach, like I said, we have a curriculum. We, the uh, equipments which we bring on board are mapped to the curriculum and the strength of the uh, class. We give two assessments every year. And we've tried to sort of uh, make this program, uh, benchmarking it to worldwide standards, which are, which are apt for schools you know, across the West so that we get all the good practices here as well. Uh, we are very, very active with schools, parent-teacher meetings, because we feel that if you don't educate the parents in terms of what the child is going through, the end of it is lost. So parent engagement is one of our biggest aspects which we bring on board as, as a company as well. A glimpse of all the equipments we have, and these are all uh, mapped to the curriculum, so you would find that all these curriculums are not lying in your storeroom, uh, you know, just catching dust. They're being used almost on a daily basis. It's very... Uh, it's so a very, uh, what do you say, activity-driven, uh, structured, mapped uh, program wherein you're getting a report in terms of what the activities are being done on a daily basis for every child, for every grade. And this is a sample of the report card we give out for each sport. So every sport has a report card which is in two aspects. One is skill and one is fitness. So if I'm doing a badminton, uh, curric uh, badminton uh, curriculum in a school, I'm going to give out the skills of badminton as well as the fitness around the sport. Like I said, we do post-school academies and this is where we come in and become a revenue generator for the school. So because we're using the school's uh, infrastructure, we make sure that we're able to now become a part of the school where we're going and giving a percentage of the revenue we collect from the parents back to the school. Uh, like I spoke about the foundation, this is something very close to our hearts. Uh, we found children in, in, in three-tier cities, in, in, in villages, who are really, really good at sport and they can't afford it. So why our CSR uh, mandate, we try and adopt schools, villages, and you know, individuals so that they can make it and you know, have a dream of theirs, which probably will make them play for the country. Uh, I forgot to tell you, we've got a host of technical experts. Uh, in the company as well. A few of them are mentioned over here. A few of them are you know, sitting outside as well. So Karishma you might fi find sitting at the, uh, the place we have outside. And she's a sports scientist. I think most of the Bollywood uh, you know, actors go to her in terms of nutrition because she knows exactly what to tell them to eat to stay healthy. Uh, we have Sanjeev, he's played for the country in terms of javelin. We have Shiva Magin, who's an Indian basketball ex-player, and now she's coaching the Indian men's basketball team. And these are people who've sort of signed off on our curriculum and the report cards. So basically, it's not me who's sitting in an office and Googling stuff and, and doing this. It's all by stalwarts of the sport. Uh, apart from this, to close the chain for a child, we do sports tours as well, wherein we are trying to make sure that they're able to now go ahead to every country in the world play the sport, experience, you know, different conditions, so on and so forth. And pre-pandemic, we were in about 1,400 schools across India. So we've done a lot of school exchange programs as well. So it basically helps from a child to go from Bombay to, to Bangalore or from Pune to uh, Delhi, uh, experience what is being taught in the other school. These are all partner schools of Sportster. Uh, in the endeavor to sort of make sure that the child gets touched on every aspect of his life when it comes to sports, security, so on and so forth. We are partnered with Humanix, which is uh, basically a company which is telling you about what is uh, the right thing to do from a uh, you know, nutrition perspective. We are tied up with Indian Odyssey, which does sports tours across the country. And we are tied up with Salto Systems, which is basically a company which is giving you all the security systems in the school. So that's where we are at. We are trying to promote uh, sports in India. Um, you know, we're there in the market. Uh, we've done about 11 years of experience, about 350 academies across India, 40 schools in Dubai. We produce the world's number one under-19 table tennis player. Uh, we're still uh, coaching Dinesh Karthik, who plays for India. Uh, India's number one Yuki Bamri tennis player has been coached by us. 
So we've done a bit in terms of getting the sports talent out in the market. Hopefully we'll be able to partner with some schools here as well. And if you need any more information, right there to help you guys. Thank you so much. Please join us today. Thank you. Thank you so much. I would once again like to request Mr. Saurav from Akansh NGO to kindly come ahead and felicitate Mr. Puneet Mehra.